Okay, this is my glove. Um, I started out using a thicker kind of work glove, ended up getting this uh, white, super thin cotton glove instead. Works a lot better with the leap motion. Um, and all I've done here is I have the little uh, vibrating motors typically used for cell phones. I put those in the tips of the fingers and then taped them on. And then on the other glove that came in the pack, I ended up just cutting off the tips there and putting those on uh, to keep that nice and snug. And then the wires coming off for each of those. And then those will end up connecting to my board, uh, which will talk to the chip computer. And then these things will vibrate uh, when I tell them to from the, from the microcomputer. Um, this is an L293D little dual H-bridge uh, motor controller chip there. So I ended up using three of them, these things. Uh, they're actually pretty cheap. I picked up, I think, a pack of 10 of them for like 10 bucks on Amazon, so like a dollar each. Um, and then I just had a board here, soldered in. Let's see my horrible soldering job there. Soldered in three of them, and then all these little wires coming off here these are the ones that are going to each individual motor so you can and i to keep myself organized i color coded them and then i have the power going um to the board this is coming from my little battery pack there's a little six volt uh using for the AAA batteries connecting to that and then the little pins here and these are going to the gpio of the on the chip computer and then the grounding okay so this is the unity side of things uh just getting this set up this is actually really really simple uh what i have here so i brought in the uh leap motion unity package and then the steam vr package so that it works with my vibe so that's what these two are um then i just threw my cube in there um I threw a rigid body on it, and then I'm freezing all the constraints so it doesn't move around when we touch it, uh, but we can still get the collision data from it. Um, and then I just have another object in here, called it my send objects, and this has my send script attached to it. Um, and then my cube has my finger collision script with the send object filled in right there. Um, these scripts are actually pretty darn simple. Just show you here. Uh, so this is the send one. This is the one that's just sending a UDP um, or setting up a UDP socket and sending data uh, across. So setting up the endpoint, setting up the client, and then we just have this method on here to send data. And it's going to try, and it uh, brings in a string, the name of the finger, and then a Boolean on or off. And then so we have the finger, and then we throw in a colon, and then we convert to in32 here. This is just me being lazy, um, converting that Boolean to a zero or one, because on the Python side, once we get over to the chip computer, um, that's what we're going to need. We're going to need a zero for off and a one for on. So I'm just sending it like that from here instead of true or false or anything else. Um, turn that into a byte array and send that off. And then I just put it in here on application quit. We're going to go ahead and close um, close that socket. Then the finger collision, this is going on the cube and we're just saying, grabbing that send object, this guy right here. So we're going to grab that, grab that script and on collision enter, we're going to take this collider and we're going to check the tag. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second, but I've gone and tagged all the, um, bones that I care about on the leap motion hand with, the uh, this finger tag. So if it's one of those, then we're going to do send object, send data, so that's that um, method that I created. And we're actually going to go ahead and get the bone's parent name, um, which is actually the finger name that we cared about, and then just pass in our Boolean. So collision enter, true, so turn it on, collision exit, false, turn it off, right? Pretty simple. So then over here, I can go and show you on here. So these are the bones, and sure enough, there's the tag. So. That's basically everything you need to do. Um, I just grabbed the third bone off each of these, and you can see that they're parent, thumb, index, middle, pinky, uh, and ring. So, and that's pretty much it. Okay, this is the chip side of things. Um, like I said before, um, you don't have to use a chip. You could use 
a Raspberry Pi or any other type of microcomputer you want. Um, I really like the chip, and so, I mean, it was nine bucks, um, and it works great, so I just figured I'd use that. Um, so I have two scripts in here that I'm relying on. Um, one of them is called GPIO. So I'll show you that. Um, so this is some stuff that borrowed from the chippy Ruxpin repo. Uh, basically they just wrote a little uh, class here to do setup, setting, and then a cleanup of the GPIO pins on the chip computer. Um, and then what we do is I have this other um, file that I made. I just called it rec. Um, this is the one that's actually doing the receiving of the socket. So we're going to import socket, import GPIO, that other class we just barely saw. Here's the different GPIO pins. Uh, we have the, the setting up of the socket, the let's see, we're going to set up the pins, and then we just have a while statement here. We're going to pull in the data from the socket, and then we're going to split it with that semi or with the colon that we stuck in and then I'm literally just comparing strings right and then setting them and this is where the um, that rec one right here is where we have the zero one zero for off one for on um, and that's how we're turning things on and off so then when we want to run it um, we just say sudo python py and that's up and running. So now we can get the Unity side of things up and running and uh, uh, they'll talk to each other and we'll have all the data that we need to get going. All right, so this is the finished product. You can see here, I got my glove and then the wires coming down, the little vibrating motors, chip computers in here. You can see that in there and then the little board I made, the battery packs, and this thing's ready to go. So I'm gonna throw on my Vive here and uh, touch this cube, and I'm gonna make it work. So I'm gonna touch my thumb here to it, and it vibrates, and I touch my index finger, and it vibrates, and I can stick my whole hand in here, and then all the fingers vibrate, and then I pull it off, and it stops vibrating, right? And stick my pinky there, and uh, and there you go. And that's it.